This is the Heb electric bike. Pretty much already set up for a commuter. It's got all kinds of great features and uh, it's a unique package. Uh, it, it, especially the way that they've set up the motor and the battery and everything. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna jump right in and start talking about the specs here. That right there is a 500 watt geared hub motor, and it's on the front, which is fairly unique. A lot of electric bikes have them on the rear. Um, cargo bikes and uh, certain other bikes that have uh, geared, uh, internally geared, uh, <laughs> internal gears in the back like this, um, go ahead and put the motor on the front and that way you can use the hub in the rear for the gears and uh, you know it's it's an interesting setup because in so doing they have to really reinforce the the drops right here and you can see that they've they've done that in both cases I mean this is a really sturdy fork um, because the stress that that motor puts on it could could break that and could crash the bike if they didn't do that and it's you know it's interesting that they've got a front shock on there because you know over time you'd, you'd imagine that could start wobbling but they've gone ahead and, and chosen a pretty sturdy uh, very kind of a basic but sturdy shock for the front here you'll notice that there's no real adjustments on lockouts it's got a little bit of maybe rebound right here uh, but yeah I mean it, it's interesting to see this because there are aftermarket kits that you can do yourself and they oftentimes will put the hub motor up front because it's easier to do. You don't have to deal with all the gears and chains and everything. Um, but a lot of times when you're doing it yourself, you know, you worry about, am I enforcing it enough? You know, reinforcing it. And, and But they've done it. And this bike works, works great. And one of the benefits, again, is that you get those internal gears in the back, um, which I'm just going to show you that. So over here, you notice there's no chain ring here, just one. And there's only one chain ring there. So this chain is super tight. And when you shift gears, it's smooth, and you can shift from standstill, like at a stop sign or whatever, and it keeps the gears cleaner and everything. So that's kind of a, the direction that a lot of uh, a lot of bikes are going with the internal gears. But it begs the question, like, where do you put the motor? So that's what they've chosen. The battery here is really cool. You can there's like a lever under the seat here. Pull up on that, and the seat flicks right up. You can unlock the battery. And then you can just pull this thing up, and it's it's cool. It just like slides right off, and you can charge it in your office or take it off the bike if you park the bike outside. Um, just you know, really well designed. I'll go ahead and turn it back on there. Uh, it's a 37 volt battery, 15 amp hours. So amp hours is what makes you go far. Think of it; it's like capacity, right? So this bike can go pretty far, and because it has a 500 watt motor. It's pretty strong too, so you know even if you're a little bit heavier or whatever, or you're carrying stuff on that rear cargo rack, this bike's gonna gonna get you there. Um, and you know, being a lithium battery, it's gonna get lots of cycles. It's uh, not gonna weigh as much as like a lead acid battery, so it's a good choice. Again, unique bike. They've chosen. They've just they've gone kind of their own way. You've got fenders incorporated. You've got these nice lights with a little button on there to turn it on and off. You've got a nice brake light here in the rear along with this rack this is a standard rack and so the tubing gauge is standard which means you can put your own panniers on it all the panniers that work with regular bikes will work on this a lot of electric bikes they have the the wide gauge because they put the battery pack back here and that prohibits you um, from being able to use normal panniers or at least having the same selection so I, I like that they've done that. It is bolt-on, so you can see the bolts and stuff, which means over time this could rattle a little bit. So you just want to keep your eye on it and keep it, you know, keep it dialed in. So anyway, I turned it on a minute ago. When I did that, it told me the battery is full, and now I just have to pick how much power I want. You just go up, 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 all the way, uh, and then you start pedaling. And when you do, pedal assist kicks in. So that's these dots here. You see those metal dots? When, when your pedal goes past those, it sends a signal to the motor, actually to the controller, but then to the motor, hey, go ahead and and then go. <laughs> so the bike just ran and you and you take off. Um, it works really well. I love the fact that they've got that nice chain guard because this is a commuter bike, and when you're riding with you've got your slacks or whatever, you uh, you don't want to get those greasy. And again, only having one speed basically on the chain. Again, it does have seven seven speeds back here in in the, the rear hub, but it just makes it means the chain's not going to wobble around as much. It's not going to fall off. You're not going to have any issues riding. Now the ride quality of this bike is decent. Um, 
you know, it, it could be a little quieter. It could be maybe a little bit smoother, but it's well priced, you know, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop on and take it for a ride. Again, this is a, a commuter bike. It works pretty well. It's got the disc brake in the front and, and it's got kind of an interesting drum brake in the back. And again, that's because it's got this, uh, you know, geared hub. So um, also the kickstand, I'm not a huge fan of these like double prong kickstands because uh, they have to like lift your bike up to kick them out. But it works and it keeps the bike from falling over, which is pretty much the goal. Also not a huge fan of these pedals. These are just cheap plastic. You know, I, I'd go on like you know, Amazon or whatever, and you can get Wellgo pedals with the metal, and they've got, like, little spikes. Because if you're riding this in the rain, you could slip off of that, and I have, and then you get, you get your shin all scraped up and stuff, so. Anyway, I've got this thing at, like, full power. I'm going to try to show you the, the hub when I, when I do pedaling. on full power so it definitely gets you going Ooh. and now I'm gonna do the twist throttle you don't have to change anything you just twist and it goes now you'll notice there was a delay when I did the twist throttle you know, I'm not sure why, but this, there's just a, a little bit more delay in this bike than some of the other electric bikes. One of the other um, questions, or just worth noting here, is that uh, instead of just having a little piece here that you twist on the throttle, the whole handle twists. You see that? The whole handle. So let's, you know, if you're riding and you're like, whoops, you know, I mean, it's, I don't like that. It's, you know, I guess that's what some dirt bikes and stuff do, but i am kind of gotten used to the little half twist thing and, and like I said earlier this bike does a great job it, it really offers a lot uh, at a pretty good price and it's fully featured with lights and everything and a computer and it's got a bell and you know whatever but um, it's unique so you know if you get this bike those are some of the things to keep in mind it is nice smooth with the with the shock and everything and you've got the step through so um, you know check it out for the full written review and pictures and comments and stuff, check out electricbikereview.com. I'll see you there.